Hi there. In this episode... Perennial? No. Heart annual. Annual? Yeah. Do you know, I get mixed up with all of that. Oh, feeling very in control today, I have to say. Well, it's officially boiling. It's uh, in the greenhouse now. Nearly 35 degrees and I am loving that. It's a bit hot actually, but I'll be out of here soon. So what I'm doing is just putting some crocs into the, some pots. Croc pots, not the shoe, not the footwear crocs, which are singularly unattractive, but incredibly practical, don't you find? Um, <laughs> Not one to be going out cl clubbing in, I have to say, or even anywhere outside other than the garden. So in the uh, greenhouse today, 35 degrees, potting out Nicotiana. They're back. And actually, I haven't bothered doing it from seed this time. I've gone straight for young plants, which arrived in the emergency cardboard box. Live plants. Plant immediately. OK, will do. We've uh, put the siren on and we're in the greenhouse to do just that. So I'll just get uh, the first four into these pots. They're looking a little... Oh, five in a pack. Ooh, might have a bit of overwhelm because I've got ten. Not ten packs, but ten Nicotiana. Might have a bit of Nicotiana overwhelm, but you know. So one, one more crock. Pot. Get the drainage in the bottom of the pot going. Oh, a bit of terracotta. I do like terracotta crock pots. You know, it's stylish, isn't it? Anyway, a bit of soil. I've got this brilliant tray, which my mum gave me when she was moving house recently, out of her greenhouse, which, oh, it looks professional, basically. It's, you can put like a load of compost and perhaps mix it up with some perlite into the tray and then use it to pot out so you're not getting soil on your path or wherever it's like a desk actually it reminds me of a school desk so you've got a kind of handy inkwell area where you can pop your scooper oh feeling very in control today i have to say let's get some of this compost in there have you ever had it there where you've just got a bit kind of carried away and you've forgotten to put your gloves on you've handled a bit of compost and they say not to. And then it's been really itchy and dry all night. No, just me. Anyway, so that's good. And the greenhouse is coming into its own. I get it now. It takes me a while sometimes to get things. I kind of get the theory intelligently, but it's not until you see things in practice that you realize, oh right, okay, 35 degrees in a greenhouse is good for seedlings. Sunflowers coming up. The tomatoes are looking strong. You remember Elsa Craig from a couple of episodes ago, the, the Scottish folk singer? And the basil's coming along, which is great because there's no blooming basil in the shops at the moment in the same way that there was no tomatoes in the shops for a while. It's like post-World War II, I tell you. And now these Nicotiana are looking really lovely, a bit like spinach leaves um, at the moment, about five centimetres tall and I had a bit of a love-hate relationship with Nicotiana last year. I grew them from seed oh, and felt a bit um, out of control actually because they weren't doing what they were meant to do. Put some the old perlite in, give them a bit more drainage and they were a bit stumpy to begin with, a bit weedy. I'd grown them from seed it wasn't until a mate of mine suggested putting tomorite on them or, or mixture of tomorite and miracle grow uh, at the same sort of time. They really took off. And then they were five foot high. You might have seen on Twitter a picture of me with my Nicotiana looming over my five foot two stature. And the nice thing is they smell lovely. So I thought I'd give them another go, but I won't go through the, through the ag anxiety of them not developing. I say anxiety, I was actually, this time last year, we were in sort of height of lockdown. So I think the anxiety kind of flowed into other things, namely, will my plants survive? And some of them didn't, some of them did. Okay, so mixing in the perlite now, getting that nice loamy, we like the word, don't we now? We know what it means, loamy soil. 
There we go, in we go. Let's get going. Get all Nicotiana out of that plastic. Why do they make so much plastic? Right, I'm gonna pull them up by the leaves. That's what Monty Don does on Gardener's World. Don't touch the roots. So I'm gonna throw a load of soil over the top there. Tamp it down a little bit. Not too much, not too little. Around the back. And there we have our first Nicotiana in the soil. And the anxiety really over Nicotiana last year was down to the fact they weren't doing much. It was a really long time. And for a plant that is, um, oh, what do you call it? Perennial? No, heart annual. Annual? Yeah. Do you know, I get mixed up with all of that because perennial sounds like forever. Annual sounds like every year. So the two sound a bit familiar and similar, don't they? Anyway, it dies off after a year. But I'd say it really got going in August through to November with white trombone style petals or, le or flowers. So um, these have got off to a flying start. I'm going to keep them in the, the greenhouse for a while as well, where they can bask in the glorious warmth. And that should give them a bit of a boost too. So it's all for the taking, isn't it? And I don't know if it'll do the same thing this year. Things don't, do they? We don't do the same things every year we do things slightly differently and that's good and I'm sure plants are exactly the same we're all made of the same stuff aren't we after all ha. okay so I'm going to get the the last of these 10 Nicotiana plug plants into pots give them a nice home for a little while before I put them out into the big wide world and knowing that they will grow and do some fabulous things that's called experience isn't it people when you learn stuff and you repeat it and then you know that it might just go this particular way. I am looking forward to that because they're gorgeous. Big white trumpet-like uh, flowers on them that lasted, well, I may do again, all the way through to November. Quite a sight for sore eyes. And I hope again, as they did last year, the neighbors comment on just exactly what were they and aren't they impressive? Mm-hmm, that's me and my Nicotiana.